Hi, welcome to this video about container-to-container -container networking for Kubernetes. Let's start by reminding ourselves what a node looks like in Kubernetes. We typically would have a virtual machine. This virtual machine would have a kubelet running on top of it. That kubelet would be scheduling containers via its container runtime interface. A container, as represented here, forms part of a pod, and a pod is a collection of one or more containers, a pod being the smallest atomic unit of deployment in Kubernetes. But how do these containers actually talk to each other? That's where we need to understand a concept from the Linux host. Firstly, we have the Ethernet device that allows for network traffic in and out of the virtual machine. But on top of this, we have something called network namespace. Network namespace is the ability to partition the network layer into isolated stacks per process. So we have a root network namespace, but what we're gonna do is when we create a new pod, we define the pod as having its own network namespace. So in this occurrence, we'll call it my pod NS. That approximately amounts uh, to var run net NS my pod ns as a file directory path and that is a mount point for the processes from our containers this also means the second part of this is that when we launch a container we have to rely upon the docker command of net container function to link these pod, these containers into the pod network namespace and this means that the pods can communicate with each other as if they're on the local host. In conjunction with this, the MyPod network namespace is attached to the root network namespace, and this allows for communication with the outside world. In the next video, we're going to look at how do we talk between multiple pods on the same host. Thank you.